National Signing Day has come and gone. 24 signees for Utah State, 16 from high school, six junior college, and two return missionaries. Uh, Coach Matt Wells uh, of Utah State joining me here. Uh, your first uh, signing day as a head coach, uh, what was it like for you? How was your first experience? Well, a lot of cup of coffees this morning and some uh, stressful moments around the fax machine, uh, especially going from a junior college kid to a mom in another state and then back and all that stuff. But we got it all done, got it all wrapped up, and so it's exciting you know, when you get to announce 12 kids from the state of Utah, and uh, that, those are the kids that will always be the backbone of this program. They're blue collar kids. They're from great high school programs in the state. And then we went out and signed some uh, out of state skill kids and some junior college kids that are be able to come in and contribute immediately. Okay, you've been the uh, an assistant coach here for the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. uh, this was your first term as, turn as a head coach. You know, what was kind of the difference be going from an assistant coach going out and recruiting like that to uh, being a head coach in charge of it all? Well, mainly you are having to make decision based on the whole program and, and the overall depth chart, not just on the offensive side of the ball. So when it came down to it, you know, was I going to defer to an offensive player or a defense player for one of the best availables? And so you got to look at the whole picture. So that was different. And uh, just being the final decision makers is obviously it's, uh, it's fun and it's new and it's exciting and challenging at the same time. But um, it's good. It's a good day and it's, it's over, but we'll continue to recruit. You know, talked about uh, you recruited a lot of local kids here from the state of Utah. How how big is that for your program to get that many kids of, of a signing class this big from the state? That's good. Twelve from the state of Utah, three from Cache Valley, and those kids will always be where we f start first and foremost. Whether it's you know it's a it's a Polynesian kid, it's a return missionary, it's a it's a sign and send missionary kid, or it's a state of Utah that's a, a non mission kid. All those kids fit in our program. Um, they all uh, come in and contribute, and we've won a lot of games the last two years, you know, uh, 18 games, and a lot of those kids are state of Utah high school products. There was a lot of emphasis, it seemed like, in this year's class on wide receiver. Mm -hmm. You had six of them come in. Why the emphasis at that position? Well, we lost three of them. We lost three starters, and so uh, we have some kids coming back. We needed to add numbers, and it's just one of those things in the, uh, in the turn that, that turned over that we needed to – to add some DBs and add some uh, receivers. Not as many junior college kids coming in this year, but how many of those of those players do you expect to step in and make an impact? Well, I would think all six of them could come in. Uh, they'll be here early summer, and I would think depending on you know how quick they pick up the schemes and how quick they pick up um, how we train in the processes and all that stuff and fit in here, that'll determine more than anything how quick um, they'll be able to contribute because I think their skill set says that they can come in and help us. One specific you uh, you talked about in the press conference was Keelan. Uh, you know, you said that he was going to step in into that position that Bo Jay, kind of big shoes to follow, to, to step into. Yeah. What is it about him that you see that could allow him to do that? Well, Keelan will get here and be able to compete. There'll be some other guys on our campus that are, that, uh, that won't just give that up to him immediately, but Keelan will come in and compete. He's got a neat uh, and a special ability to rush the passer. He's quick off the edge. He plays with great hands. Um, he plays with great effort. He chases the football. And I just think he's a talented kid. Um, next season, moving to the Mountain West Conference, they added a conference championship game. You know, as you were out there recruiting, how big of a deal was that to sell the kids? I mean, how did the kids respond to that? Did you see that as a factor? Yeah, I think it's a positive. You don't have to sell the Mountain West Conference. People know uh, about the history of the Mountain West Conference and the programs that are that are uh, that are in it, and it'll be a challenge every week uh, for us as we step into it. But it's uh, it's a very uh, very much a positive out on the recruiting trail.